Hi there. Hey, it's the Misfits Podcast. Yep, it's us. <laughs> hello, how are you? A little hello. No, don't answer that. Well. It doesn't matter. Hello's I can't hear boring. you. Boring. What? Hello. What? You can't hear? Can't hear them. Oh, uh, the audience? Yeah. Well, Say something, pussy. I couldn't hear them. Oh, uh, actually, I, I heard that one. Silence okay. is concerned. Sorry, hey, sorry. Hey, oh, I don't even want to repeat it. It was a nasty, nasty what? little word. Well, you did call them pussies. Fuck you, viewer. I did. I yeah, did. You are. You do tend to be very nasty to the audience, Swagger. Really? Yep. Apart from the audio listeners, you always talk about how much you love them. Audio listeners, I love you. I love you so much. Uh, I, 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 it, you know what? Don't even, don't even pull up this podcast on video because... I love you so so much. Oh, it's projecting so, so many much. emotions for you guys. You're beautiful. I love you. Guys, I don't mean to be naughty, but I think Swagger Souls was flipping the bird just then. Oh, that's very naughty. <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? Why would you snitch me? And that is inappropriate. Well, you know what else is inappropriate? No. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're just asking to ask. If you don't know, yeah. you don't know, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Toby has got a bottle of gamer subs going. Yeah, just just made that. So Looks nice. Essentially, what I did was I saw at the front of the table there we actually had one, two, three, four. We had five gamer subs there. Five of them, huh? I noticed one of them was a, was a slight yellow tinge, so I thought, oh, that's probably the pineapple. <laughs> little, little known favorite of mine. Uh huh. Love the pineapple. Good shit. Smells yum. Smells yummy. Yeah. Yep. Mm, tastes like good a too. Pineapple fruit juice. And uh, you can get some too on gamersubs.gg by using code Misfits. Yeah. Yes, power yourself. <laughs> power. <laughs> what? what empower yourself. Unnecessary input. Dude. 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 Sorry. Dude. Sorry. Dude. Sorry. Shut up and drink your gamer subs, bitch. I'm here. Whoa. Toby's here. Yeah. Swagger's here. Hello. Matt's here. Hello. And three. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, mate. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? Hey, fucking going on there, mate. And three of us have just gotten back from the snowy peaks of Mount Hotham in Australia. Yeah. Mm. We, Women aren't allowed on mountains. No. Freeze. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Memory glands get yep. in the way of that. Yeah, guys. We uh, went on a little snow trip last Thursday. Mm. Um, trying to get some skiing in. You know, Melbourne was kind of open at the time. Victoria, the state we were in, didn't have much COVID. We were like, great, let's let's get yep. out in the snow. Let's celebrate. Because we figured, you know, a trip. We, we were looking at the cases. It, it was down. It was like three cases, and it was four, and then it was one, and then when it hit, it hit zero on the day that we were going to leave. And so we were like, great, yay, a vacation in the snow. And it wasn't for Didn't like... Did you leave on Friday? No, I left on Thursday. Thursday. Uh, okay. <clears throat> but... You know, this this trip wasn't for content, so you won't be seeing a video or anything. It was literally just the boys and a couple of women going out, having fun, having a good time, and relaxing. Yeah. Uh, so we were keen to get out on the mountain and enjoy the slopes. I was super excited to ski because it's apparently the best time of the season to go right now. And last year when we went, the snow was pretty shit. Mm. And I was like, man, this will be dope. I can't wait to get my skis and get out there. We arrive. On Thursday evening. It was very good. We had a couple Airbnbs. We unloaded our shit. Cozy. Got, you know, got acquainted with everything. We, we got there in the afternoon. So by the time that if we decided to go up the mountain on that day, it would have been, we would have been getting there late, like nightfall. And then we were like, fuck that. Um, we're just going to chill. And then what, what did we see on the TV? What, what, uh, what SpongeBob happened? SpongeBob was on. That yeah, but what happened, what happened was you know the episode the where he rips his pants? Yeah. Oh, oh and he ripped his pants? Yeah, he ripped his pants. And no, let me tell we, you, when we, he learned a valuable lesson about yeah, showing off. Pants. When we changed the channel. Oh, right, yeah. No, horrific news. Uh, basically, uh, we saw Dan Andrews <laughs> on the TV announcing that Victoria was going into a lockdown Ooh, yeah. uh, once again. So we got there, yet to even pick up our, our snow gear. You had to even yeah. get the skis or snowboards or items required to get up on the slopes. I was surprised and... you guys were allowed to stay. Mm. Yeah, well, we kind of weren't. <laughs> no, I mean, look, the con but, uh, context, yeah. context for the American listeners, Daniel Andrews is the premier of Victoria, which is the state that we're in, uh, which is pretty much like the governor. And so what happened was he heard that there was COVID with his big, massive fucking ears, and then he walked out and said, <laughs> sorry, guys. Can't, you know, we're, we're shutting it all down. 
There are no cases in regional Victoria, but we're still shutting it all down, which is where we were. Mm. Uh, right at the <laughs> base of the mountain. Yep. And uh, very soon we realized, uh-oh, this isn't good because we can't fucking go up the mountain. They're going to close the ski lifts, They're which close, they did. Yeah. They shut them down. I went in to go get my ski gear, and they locked me out the store. They were like, look, no one's fucking skiing right now, man. There's no point yeah. in, in our lockdown. Our sixth lockdown here in Victoria. Wait, so you guys didn't get to ski? Well, no. No. No, no, no actual skiing or snowboarding. Some people like, got a little bit in on the first day. A few yeah, people before arrived before the lockdown us, but no one sitting at this table got a single yeah. bit of shredding in. Yeah. Uh, I didn't, just disappointing. But I didn't give a fuck about the skiing and the snowboarding, although I know that some people really did. Mm. Um, I just wanted to play in the snow and make little little snowmen and snow angels hit each other with snowballs yeah. and sled. Yeah. Um, so thankfully we were able to go up the mountain still. We were... Yeah. Well, you left, you left the day of the announcement to make it up so that you could stay over. Yeah. Well, I was like, I'm, I'm getting up this mountain as soon as possible. I need to get up there and, and see what's going on. So I drove up there with Chad, anything for views, Darcy and Manuel, and we all got in the car and we drove up the mountain late at night. And, uh... Yeah, you know, fucking just headed up the mountain and, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> you know what and I'm then saying? what happened? And uh, uh, halfway up the mountain, we pulled over to put our snow chains on the tires. Oh, uh, dude. Uh, which is something that we have no experience doing and it was very difficult. <laughs> just standing out on the cold like a bunch of yeah. idiots. If you wanted to get up this mountain, you had to go to a place at the base of the mountain where you got uh, snow chains. And then, you know, you're meant to carry them, which means just put them in your boot, keep them in your car for if you need them. Yeah. And so when you drive up the mountain, you'll get halfway before there's, you know, a bunch of snow and some ice and whatever. But they, they passed by a sign that said you must carry snow chains. And I think they interpreted that as we need to put snow chains on, on our van when you didn't have to because there wasn't a lot of ice. And so yeah. what? You pulled over... Well, like when we picked up the snow chains, the guy who was like teaching us how to put them on the store, he was this old man. He was just complaining the whole time about how our, our car was a sport car and like the suspension is too low and he could barely get them on himself. Like he was showing Dazi how to do mm. it, but really like he was struggling. What car Which, was it? Uh, it's just a Mercedes, like a little mm. Mercedes, mm, that was car. Um, I don't know what fucking kind of car it was. But anyway, like... It wasn't looking good, and it was getting really dark, and it was cold out, and we were thinking, how the hell are we going to put these chains on? Like, none of us know what we're doing. So we end up pulling over on the side of the road halfway up the mountain at the bay where you're supposed to put the chains on. Um, and we get out of the car, and we start trying to put them on, and it's just, we're just not succeeding at all. Chad pulls up a tutorial on his phone. We're kind of crowding around his phone, trying to figure out how to get him on. I'm lying on the ground. Like, it's so muddy. It's it's not a fun time. We we're at this for like mm. 30 minutes. We kind of have almost got the first chain on. And then this guy pulls up in a van. Uh, <laughs> he just kind of like speeds up, pulls in beside, uh, beside us, rolls down the window and goes, Oi, the fuck you doing? And we're just like, what? We're, I don't know. We're putting uh, snow chains on. He's like, you have no idea what you're doing, do you? <laughs> we're like, what? well, no, we're, we're a bit lost, but we're getting there. Could you help us? He's like, listen. Can I just get attention from one of you for one second, please? Can one of you please focus on what I'm saying? You guys are from Melbourne, aren't you? We we're like, yeah, we're from Melbourne. He's like, yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Listen, you don't. Do you see anyone else driving up the hill with snow chains? You don't need to put those fucking things on. You know what you guys need to do is get up there and be safe. What the fuck? We were, we were like, oh, that's what we were trying to do. Like we thought that we needed to put the snow chains on because of the icy conditions. He's like, no, mate, no, fucking, forget about it. Just fucking get up the mountain, that is get so home, weird. stay home, be safe. And then he kind of like goes at us for another 30 seconds or whatever. He really, <laughs> he really, took, his, shed on he really you. took his time <laughs> shitting on us. Like he said a few things that I, I don't dare repeat. And then he kind of just speeds off and turns back around the way he came and goes down the mountain. And we're kind of just left there standing Wait, with- Wait, did with, he drive up the mountain just to tell you? It would, that's have, been, what, it would have been a ranger. Yeah, well, that's, what we, a, that's what we figured because, uh, you know, a couple cars were driving down and they would have seen us on the side of the road as looking like a bunch of idiots uh, in the dark with our phone flashlights out trying to do this. Oh, I think one the of dark? them, one, yeah, it was pitch black. It was one, at night and it was like negative three. <laughs> one of the cars must have called up the ranger and then he had to get up and 
fucking go away. Yeah, yeah so he would have been us. upset. He would have been upset. He's like, fucking city folks, you know, don't know what the hell's yeah. going on and blah, and, blah, blah. And especially, especially with the fact that lockdown was just announced that day. And so he probably would have been like, a bunch of fucking idiots from Melbourne are going to bring uh, COVID up into Hotham or in, near in this rural area. Yeah. But just just for the for the people listening, uh, we all took precaution before we went up there. We all got a negative COVID test um, at least a day before we even set out. Yeah, everything we, we were doing Quarantine, was legit. So like, right. you know, we weren't we weren't being irresponsible. We were prepared. We had we went through all the right precautions. We were fine. But yeah, obviously this guy just had to make it worth his while. Like if you're driving 30 minutes up the yeah. mountain to tell some people off, you're going to like, <laughs> you, you know. He was probably off. psyching himself up. You're going to feed your ego a bit and, you know, it's fucking like, let us have it. He's fucking city fuck. Fucking yeah. coming up my fucking mountain. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So he, he really did us have it. And then we just were kind of standing there with egg on our face, got back in the car and. Took the one <laughs> snow chain off your tire? Took the one snow chain that was halfway on the tire after 30 minutes of effort. Put it in the back and then we're like, oh, great. It means we don't have to put the other one on. It kind of saved us a lot of time, honestly. So it was, it was kind of a blessing in disguise. And then, yeah, we just hit up the mountain and we found our place eventually. Um, got checked a couple times on the way into Hotham uh, for our COVID tests, which thankfully we had results for. Found our place, cozied up, and yeah, I think kind of just went to, went to bed that night. Like, it was pretty mm. late. Kind of just chilled out. I woke up in a winter wonderland. Like We couldn't really yeah. see the place at dark, but when we woke up, the view was amazing from the windows. It's a very cozy little apartment we had up there, right on the slopes. Unfortunately, <laughs> not able to actually take advantage of the slopes to their fullest extent, but uh, yeah, it was nice. It was a cozy, cozy time. Yes, Bas Basically just spent like three days or so up in the mountain. Two days maybe, two days, one night. But I don't fucking know. Anyway, we just had a good time, all right? We sledded, <laughs> yeah, well, we made snowmen, we had fun. Well, you know, I wasn't able to get up the mountain that night, and I was worried the entire time. Like, I, you know, I came all the way here to see fucking snow. And so I'm going to see some fucking snow. And luckily, Matt <laughs> had, had the idea, because um, on Wednesday, which is when the lockdown was announced, you like looked at your phone and like you saw what was going on. And you're like, oh, <laughs> fuck, I like, yeah, fucking... fuck this. Yeah. So, so like, what, what, what exactly happened? You just fucking decided to <laughs> just pack everything and fucking leave? Pretty much, yeah. Got out like right before it started. He, he sped out of Melbourne and, and, speed and drove up. He fucking <laughs> came to our uh, Airbnb at like 1 a.m. and he couldn't <laughs> figure out how to get in. And I was dead asleep. And so he, he tried to call me a couple of times and I, I wasn't awake. So he was just out there. Trying, trying to get in. You got in through the side door. Yeah, right? just like I got a flashlight and started exploring. I found like the side door was unlocked. But I wanted to like give you a heads up just so I like don't get inside and you see someone in. else in this house you're expecting to be empty. You yeah, because the house, there, there were a lot of Airbnbs, but the one that I stayed at, I was, you know, just me and a couple others that were there, but it was it was pretty big Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah, I would have been spooked <laughs> if, yeah. if you just fucking walked fucking in. Wait, so instead you just woke up and Matt was there? No, well, I woke up at like fucking 7 a.m. And yeah. then I saw, oh shit, I, I have a bunch of missed calls from Matt. He's probably here. And he was. That's so funny. But yeah, then, uh, you know, because I was worried about driving my own car up the mountain. Um, and so Matt volunteered to drive and we all drove up and uh, we, we, we got there and uh yeah Wait, was, you drove your rear wheel drive rotary up a mountain hell yeah, yeah. I mean, the traction control on mm. should be right it fucking worked really well matt was a really good driver nice didn't fear for my life once Are thank you lying? no <laughs> no not at all not <laughs> okay, no legitimately okay. very very well driven nice and then we got up there and then as soon as we as soon as we got there um there were neighbors across from our uh, the, the place that we were staying we were staying in like these little cabins and so there was a neighbor across that had like a hot tub and so like as people were going in and out of our place they would you know holler at us from the hot tub you know hey what's going on and you know, manuel would say like oh you let us use your hot tub and they'd be like oh well only if you let us use your sauna and all this mm. and then i think it was friday they they came around and they were like we really need your help and yeah well friday i was just so drunk uh, during the daytime. Oh, you got you got day drunk. <laughs> well, like there wasn't really much else to do on the mountain. I couldn't ski, so I was yeah. like, "Well, I'm just gonna get fucked fucked up on wine and yeah. just enjoy this nice, cozy atmosphere, this view." That makes sense. You know, so I was just very drunk, and then all of a sudden, there's three Jews in front of me. 
being like, hey, hey, someone said we could use your sauna. And like, I was like, I didn't really understand the situation. I was like, they, they, <laughs> here's the thing about Jews, all right? It was the Sabbath, which means that they cannot use technology or yeah. drink or smoke or do anything really. So, they so to, the, oh, so no, the they neighbor, drink. yeah, they could they drink. They definitely drink. Well, so, but I thought like they couldn't, you had they, to like, you couldn't use tech. You can't like work or something like uh, that. It's I thought, like, it's uh, a day of rest. I, I thought they couldn't drink in the sense that like, I thought for them to get drunk, you had to give them the drink. No, oh, no, they were no, giving us They were giving drinks. us the drink. Uh, drink. We're, we're skipping ahead. Basically, <laughs> um, the, the, the neighbors were all Orthodox Jews. Wow. Um, which was fucking awesome. So they came around and they were all like young guys in like the early 20s uh, with their wives and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so they come around and, and you know, everyone's fucking shit faced in this cabin. They're like, hey, you know, we we need you guys, you know, if you, if, if you could to come around and, and turn stuff on and off for us. Yeah, they're like, turn because on the power can. or some shit. Yeah, they wanted, they wanted us to turn the power on for their spa. Uh, so that way they didn't have to worry about it and, and all this other shit. And so... That night, we ended up going over to their place because uh, they invited us over for drinks. And they were doing this thing. And I didn't want to get, like, too fucked up because I, I, I was just smoking pot the whole time. And I didn't want to get cry. So I didn't yeah. want to get, you know, t too fucked up on this mountain. And they start doing this thing where they take out a bottle of liquor. And they go, all right, guys, we're going to bless this thing. And then they start going, like, like with this big like the Hebrew chant or Yiddish chant, yeah. And then by the end, everyone's smacking their hand on the tables, and then they're like, "All right, drink." And then they pour everyone shots, and they take a shot, and they go again, again, and you have to keep going because they blessed it because they fucking blessed the alcohol. And if you said no, everyone would point at you and go, "What? Do you hate Jewish people? Are you an anti semite I'd be like, "No, <laughs> fucking get drunk." <laughs> Fucking ridiculous, dude. Chad, uh, Chad was was having a really good time with him. Um, and yeah, we basically just drank there in and out um, for a couple of hours. And then I leave. Uh, mo most people leave. I think the only people there were like were like three of our group and Chad. And um, I think I ended up going to bed. I wake up the next day and I see Chad and he sh he's just, he looks dead. Yeah. He's... Um, he says he feels like he's dying, which is, you know, usual Chad speak yeah, for yeah. I'm very hungover. And he was literally sitting there with just his underwear on and he gets up and he opens up a window onto the balcony and he, and he grabs this giant chunk of ice and he just starts rubbing it <laughs> all over his body, <laughs> fucking all over, I mean, in between the folds and everything. And he's just like groaning as he does it because, you know, I guess it feels good. What the yeah, and then and then I was like, hey, "How are you doing? You know, how was last night?" He goes, "Oh yeah, just I fucked with the Jews a little." I was like, "What do you mean?" He goes, "I left and <laughs> and, turn, and turned on all of the lights and all of the power oh. for everything, and <laughs> it's just fucking left." That's so mean. <laughs> yeah, it was funny though, because <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "You guys can't do anything about it." And when we're drinking, like they're they're all connected to the music and the, and the big speaker, and so they're they're like, you know, looking over at the Jews and they're saying. I could put whatever I want on. Is this song okay with you? And they put on like rap or whatever. And, and the guys be like, oh, it's not really my cup of tea. And then <laughs> just being like, yeah, well, you can't change it. So. <laughs> 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 no, it was a good time. They, uh, they were, uh, they, they really liked us. They liked us so much that they offered, <laughs> they offered to drive one of us back. Well, not really drive, eh? Uh, fly fly. one of one of one of us back they had a plane they had a uh like a wait, wait they had a plane they had a plane so a biplane yep yeah, the the elder jew that was there i uh, i think his name was moish moish he uh he he was a pilot and he and he had flown his plane up uh ah. on, onto the mountain for them to stay and he's like oh we have an extra seat if anyone wants, wants to fly back with us and uh, our, our our friend Andre was like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll volunteer. Because I didn't want to fucking fly. <laughs> fucking go, go, go off of a man. Yeah. And, it was, uh, and it was one of those propeller. Uh, I two, think I saw that Snapchat yeah. and had no idea what was going on. It was a two propeller <laughs> plane. Uh, just a bit, kind of like a private jet almost, but, you know, propeller. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, he ended up leaving on like the last day fucking takeoff, which was, you know, ass clenching. Yeah. <laughs> Because I wouldn't want to do that. The turbulence all the way up that mountain fucking scared the shit out of me. Yeah, that's the thing about mountains. We experienced that in New Zealand, too, is that the way that the wind behaves over the peaks of the mountains, it just, like, 
huge gust is coming yeah. away out of nowhere and just yeah. like, oh. fuck you around. It'll just fucking move you. It'll fucking drop you down. Yeah. There are pockets of air, vortexes. But, but, you know, if there's an airfield up there, it was probably in a pretty safe yeah, location. Yeah, it should be in an all right place. Old mate Moish knew what he was doing. Oh, yeah. I would have I would have gone on the plane, but... Also, you know, maybe it's a good thing that I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, the, the snow, we made the most of it. We yeah, had, we no, had, a, you did. had a good time yeah. sledding. Bit of tobogganing, you yeah. know, making snowmen, hitting each other with snowballs, yeah. the, the whole deal. And then awesome. it was, uh, fuck, fuck. What was it? I lost it. There was one, it was one thing. Oh, yeah, our buddy, our buddy behind the, behind the desk trying to sled. He tried to sled on the final day. Mitchell, you want to tell us what happened? I had an accident. What was the accident? What happened? What prompted it? Um, we're just doing a little bit of tobogganing, standing up on the toboggan, and it looked like so much fun, and I thought I could do it, but when I slid down, my shoulder dislocated, and everyone pelted me with snowballs, and I had to go get that pop back in. Wait, we Wait. pelted you with snowballs after it got dislocated? Yeah. Did you, Wait, did but you before tell them? we knew what happened, right? Um, yeah, I was like, I think I hurt myself, and then a whole bunch of snowballs came down, and then I was like, oh, definitely hurt myself. I feel that. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, we were. That was the final day when we were planning on going down the mountain. We were only up there for like a day or two, and you know, the, the mountain, the mountain was like fucking deserted. Besides our neighbors, I really didn't see anyone else. Yeah, um, it was pretty quiet. It's kind of coincidental, t- coincidental that uh, the neighbors happened to be there. You know, they happen to be staying right beside you. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, right it was fucking pretty crazy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, me and Matt are packing away our things in Ma- in his car to to drive down in like the next hour, two hours. And as soon as we put our shit away, we start walking towards the hill. We see Mitchell walking back uh, with Lauren and um, who else was it? Was it just Lauren? Yeah, Manuel and Lauren. <laughs> They're walking, and I see Mitchell with his fucking arm out like this, going like. <laughs> Hey guys, we're like, hey, what's, what's up? You're like, oh, I, I, I dislocated my shoulder again. And we were like, what? What do you mean? He goes, oh no, it's okay. It's the other one. Because, <laughs> because, do you want to tell, do you want to tell the viewers that, what happened? And a couple months ago, where I dislocated my right shoulder on my electric scooter. Yeah, mm. I, I, if I remember correctly, um, the the day that that happened, or the day before that happened, you came into the office on your scooter. And you're wearing either thongs. Uggs. It was Uggs. Uggs. He was wearing Ugg boots. Yeah, you're wearing Uggs. And I was like, that doesn't seem, you know, very safe. To, to, it doesn't seem like the appropriate footwear to wear on a motorized scooter. And then I look at the Snapchat the next day and Mitchell has a sling on. Toby, <laughs> Toby literally said, you're going to crash on that thing and hurt yourself. And you're yeah, like, no, I won't. You I'll be fine. you too? You're like, oh, yeah, I ride it like one-handed and everything. Dude, I'm very good. <laughs> it, was an, it was an accident, Toby. You didn't have to send that thought into the universe. <laughs> oh, look, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, you know? But I was, I was on my phone when I crashed. I also sent the mm. thought into the universe about you falling over on a toboggan. I'm really sorry. You really did. You said, oh, be yeah. careful snowboarding. You can break both your wrists. Oh, wait, I did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wait, wrist or ankle? Wrists, because because oh. when you when the snowboard gets caught on the snow, you fall forward and put your hands out and you break your wrist. Right, very common injury among snowboarders. That's why you land on your shoulder. Yeah, exactly. Like Mitchell. Yeah. <laughs> At least he's got his wrists. What are you gonna do? Dislocate your wrists? No, exactly. Just gonna break them. We didn't talk about how fucked up Matt got that night with the juice. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Matt, right. Matt Take drank it away. so much. Let him explain oh it. Oh yeah. So for context. After the Jews were like, yeah, we need help, like, turning shit on. I was like, oh, they need help, like, turn on, like, their circuit breaker or something. Like, something needs reset. So I'm like, okay, fine, I can do this. Mm-hmm. I go over there expecting to have to, like, fix a circuit breaker or some shit. And they're like, okay, here, come here, come here. Take a shot, take a shot. I was like, <laughs> all right, fine, let's fucking get into this. Where is this at? They're like, okay, here. They point at the stove. I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, yeah, tur- can you turn on the stove? I'm like, is it not fucking working or something? So I, like, literally turn on the burner and it, like, just lights up normally and they're like yes, take another shot take another shot <laughs> they literally fed me like all right now turn on the lights <laughs> another shot <laughs> yeah. pretty, pretty much they yeah. fed me like oh my god they gave me like a literal like a literal fluid cup it was it fireball. would have been a, me- like, a measuring yeah an actual worth, measuring cup a, a worth whole of one one cup it's like wow if you want to, if you want to make a really drunk mat you combine <laughs> one mat with one cup of fireball <laughs> And, oh, it'll f- and, it, and, yeah, and, and it'll fuck him up. He will literally climb the walls. <laughs> yeah, I think I still have a cut on my pillar. hand there. From you that. still do have the cut <laughs> on your hand. Show them. I don't know if you can really There's see There's no it. way they're going to yeah, see it. Yeah, yeah. They, he was climbing up this pillar at our fucking 
at our place we were staying at. Yeah, it was a and big it was like lying on the pillar. rafters. It's <laughs> like a fucking sloth. He, he, and just go, it was, like making a bunch of noise. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> no, it, like, started, <laughs> it started, it was like really late after everyone had gotten fucked up. People were tired and we weren't actually staying in that cabin. We had another like little apartment cabin like a little bit down the street where me and Matt were going to stay. And so we, we got, you know, well, we got back to the to the main cabin. We sat down. We were chilling, and then, man, then Matt just goes, "I want a warm bed and a hot shower. <laughs> Is that too much to ask?" I was just up and in the all, rafters and we, screaming and we, it. We, and we like... all look at we all look over <laughs> to him, and then he's like he's like this. He's like, "I just want a I want a warm bed <laughs> and a hot shower." Is that too much to ask? Right, Matt, and then no, he, it's and, not too much to and then ask. He, and, then he's, and then he's repeating this mantra, <laughs> screaming it. And then he just fucking like a chimp, like a monkey, just starts climbing the center pole. And it was impressive. <laughs> it was fucking impressive. He got up that fucking pole in like two seconds. And then he was just on the rafters and up screaming. And everyone's like, dude, get down, get down. What's it about being drunk that makes you want to climb shit? If you notice that. <laughs> <that's laughs> if you're drunk, you're like, yo, a jungle gym. That's a good idea. <laughs> he fucking gets all the way up and he's lying down. He's literally lying down on these fucking rafters. He support beams. And he's up there shifting his weight. We're hearing the fucking ceiling. Creek, and then we're like, get down, get down. He keeps keep saying, oh, I want a warm bed and a hot shower. Is that too much? Ash? You're like, okay, get down, get down. We'll fucking go, we'll go. And then, like, when we got outside, Matt just like jumps over the railing and lies in the snow. Did I? Yeah, I you were just like, like lying in the snow. <laughs> just like, I honestly don't even remember. You know, it is so funny. We're like, Matt, you're gonna regret this tomorrow. You get out of the snow. And then well, I, I didn't see you since that since that you know, point. No, we get back to the, the night. we get back to the apartment, and he goes into his room, and I go into mine, and I'm feeling okay. I'm a little bit fucky, but I'm but I'm okay, and I'm trying to go to sleep, and I hear him scream vomit, just uh, fucking yeah, just not scream good. vomit. Fibro vomits the worst. Oh, it's so. like an he empty was, stomach too. So he, it's like trying to vomit. There's nothing there. He Gross. was. Just a pain in the ass. Kept me awake the whole night. What a rude thing. He's like fucking punching the it toilet. It was literally scream fun. vomiting. And then oh. I go to bed and I wake up at three to peace and quiet, but a very, very upset stomach. And I'm like, I felt awful. And so I was like, I think I'm going to munt. And so I went over to my bathroom and <laughs> fucking just drop a couple loads of mud into the <laughs> toilet and like I'm trying to get my bearings and and then yeah I also got got pretty sick and it was crazy like I was feeling like shit for like the last 24 hours before that because as soon as I got up the mountain I had I got this massive massive headache it was like a migraine on crack Weird. it was like my whole head got really hot like it felt like I had a really bad fever like my head was splitting. I was. I got really dizzy. I couldn't breathe, and I was like, fuck? I was like, I hope I don't have fucking COVID nineteen. And you know, you were looking it up, and it was like uh, high altitude sickness, because yeah. uh, I haven't been in a high altitude for fucking ages. Uh, and so I think that that's what it was. But after I took like some Panadol, I drank a lot, and then I smoked some weed, and that helped. <laughs> uh, and, As your doctor recommends. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, just go home, take this Panadol, just drink a lot, and smoke some weed. You'll yeah. be fine. Yeah, but yeah, either 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 it actually helped or it just distracted me from the pain. But uh, but it worked. It it did. It, it worked. And also, uh, our friend Zach cooked a very hearty pasta dish, he and did. then after eating that, felt a million times better. Yummy, yummy in your tummy. Oh yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of. That's all that I can remember that's entertaining from the snow trip. Yeah, we kind of just went back down. It's pretty chill, I mean, didn't Ryan get, <laughs> get, 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 I, he, cause he was staying at an Airbnb and the way that we, you know, envisioned this was like, you know, a bunch of people would be split. There wouldn't be more than a couple of people, which is why we had so many Airbnbs was to, you know, not have to worry about the restrictions that were already in place uh, before the lockdown. Yeah. Um, you know, trying to follow the law the best we could. But at that point, everyone was over this one Airbnb, which was next to a neighbor who was a, you know, old woman, you know, didn't want to get COVID, fair enough. Mm. Saw like fucking four or five cars at the front of this house and then called the cops and the cops came. Oh, really? Fucking, yeah, knocked on the door and Ryan, <laughs> Ryan answers it and they're like, 
hey, uh, what's with all the cars? And then Ryan just smooth talked his way. He was stoned as hell, by the really, way. Really, really high. And he and he just said, like, oh, no, like, you know, this is what's happening. Like, we came up here for this. So this is what happened with the lockdown. We're trying to sort everything now. We're going to take some people back home. People are going to leave soon. The center, you know, just trying his best. And the cops are like, you know, what do you do? <laughs> and he's like, oh, I think with YouTube, managing, blah, blah, blah. And the guy was like, oh, really? That's that's really cool. You, you make a lot of money? <laughs> just like, small town people small, love asking yeah, that question yeah, yeah. bluntly. It's like, how much yeah. money do you make? <laughs> but yeah, it was just, you know, this small talk, in, which which ended with him saying like, look, you know, I could find all of you like 1600 Jesus. But, but like, I'm just going to, you know, if we have to come back here, well, I'll definitely slap you all with a fine, but just, you know, get everyone out of this house. Yeah. And so, you know, they, they, they split apart after that, but yeah. And then, and then, and then when Ryan went up the mountain on the final day, he got pulled over twice. twice? Uh, I think it was twice, wasn't it? Was yeah, it two? I think How do you was... get pulled over twice in a small town? Well, you're going, you're going up a mountain, so it's just one road. And yeah, so, exactly. How do you get pulled over twice on the same road? Um, uh, I think one guy came from behind, and then one guy <laughs> came from the top going down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and every single time, he was just like, look, I'm just driving these people to the to the airstrip. Like, they're going home, and they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> just like, go up the mountain then. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. It was cool. It was nice. It was a cozy adventure, and despite being gutted about not being able to ski... I very much enjoyed myself. Mm. And I now we're back. Snow. Back in the lockdown, baby. Well, to make it better, the day we got back, they canceled the lockdown. Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did they do did. that. As soon as we got back, they opened up original Victoria again, which means that and the they lifts... they extended the lockdown here, right? Yes. Yeah, which yeah. which means that the ski lifts opened up the day we got back. Because is... there were no cases in regional to begin with, but yeah. obviously, you know, you want to be safe than sorry. Yeah... But yeah, we it got was, fucked. It was it was peculiar. The whole the whole thing was 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 odd and stressful as far as vacations go. But at the end of the day, I got to see snow, and that's that's all I really cared about. Yeah, that's very sweet. And how did you feel when you saw the snow? Oh, like a child, jubilant, <laughs> absolutely jubilant. Good word. I looked at it. I was like, wow, this is not pussy snow. Because remember, we were driving up the mountain. I'm looking at you, and I'm like, look, look at all this. It's like, like, like you see the snow slowly growing. Yeah, dude. It's like, it's like it's covering like, signs you know, at one point. You're looking like, oh, it's snow. That's great. There's just a little mound of slush. And then you keep going. You're like, dude, this is like half a foot of snow. And then you keep going. You're like, dude, this is like two feet of snow. And then you keep going. You're like at the top of the mountain. It's like, dude, this is like fucking six feet of snow. It was literally covering signs on the side of the road. Crazy. And then we went up to the top, and you know, I get out and. You know, Ozzy's, you know, in our group was like, you know, this reminded you of the snow back home. I'm like, this is fucking one to one. Exactly. Like it's a lot of snow. It's packed. It was malleable. It was sticky. You could, mm-hmm. you could roll a fucking snowball down the hill. It would get bigger. It was fun. Hell cool. yeah. Made Hell. a snow angel. Yeah. Yeah. Snowman. Made a snow angel. Made a snowman. He had a big cock and a fat ass. <laughs> At least and I uh, <laughs> went to sign up for a gym the, the day. I think it was Friday. Yeah. We went to sign up for a gym. We we spent the day like going out to like sports shops, buying like some nice shoes and some you know some clothes to work out in. Mm-hmm. We signed up for the gym that day, and then we get to the gym, and the um the person is like, "Yeah, we're signing you up." And we're like, "Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna have to pause your membership." And we're like, "Oh, no, like, yeah, because of the lockdown that just got announced." Wow. So like we, we were like we were, we were so ready to start working out and and and. Uh, all that stuff, and then they're like, "No, nah, you can do that in a few weeks." <laughs> why don't you do? Uh, why don't you guys do Pilates? Well, you think it's just because they're lesbians they should do Pilates? <laughs> yeah, what the... no, it's just you know, it's good. It's good. Uh... <clears throat> we just do pa- drugs and dance. Pa- you got... <laughs> <laughs> pop MDMA, but is that what just, do? just pop know. MDMA and just fucking <laughs> dance for like eight hours. Yeah, yeah, that'll make you skinny. But no, do Pilates. Well, I mean, you still have to go to a Pilates <laughs> place. No, you don't. <laughs> why are you enforcing the Pilates idea? What is well, no, that? I because mean, why did you, why, <laughs> I thought you were joking, but you seem to be doubling down. No, because <laughs> it, look, Pilates, Pilates is a great way to work out using only your body. So why don't you do oh, Pilates? Yeah, no, we, we I do. tried. I tried doing Pilates. Oh, you we just do. did at home. Like just do yeah, you just do it at all. Okay, we, we do body weight exercises and stuff, but uh, do you like lift each other? It's not the same. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we do. Uh, no, it's it's. I mean, you know, it's not the same as having actual machines to to do it with. It kind of restricts. What's with what lesbians and machines? Yeah, we just like you know metal things like scissors, mm. dildos and such. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a, to, a metal dildo? I, just mount machinery. Would a metal dildo even really work? A lot of vibrators yeah. are made of metal. Really? Oh, well, it's a vibrator, Actually, yeah. Actually... They're probably not really made of metal. They're probably just made of metallic-looking plastic. Yeah. Realistically. Because like, the whole thing with, like, dildos is that it's supposed to be, like, soft so you can, like, go through your... Well, I guess for men, it's to go through your intestine. For women, I guess it's more of a straightforward <laughs> path. To your intestine? What the fuck is... Because when is you, your when you, No, because <laughs> when, when you're a fucking guy and you have a dildo and you put it in your ass, it's got to, like, be able to fold along with, like, your colon and shit, right? Like, your intestines? I'm not talking about this, How bro. How deep are you putting dildos up well, I'm just saying, if you your have, intestine's like, a, pretty far up there. That's a real... Dead <laughs> well, then your small intestine. That's not, isn't that before the big? Anyway, no, it's after the big one, right? <laughs> it's a, generally it doesn't go past your Mitchell, colon, Mitchell, bro. Mitchell, pull up, uh, pull up an anatomical <laughs> reference. Yeah, with a dildo in it. Yes. No, just of 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 like of anus, 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 and then like the 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 digestive tract. We're solving this mystery, Scooby. <laughs> it's the gayest thing I've ever said in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're solving this mystery, Scooby, is the gayest thing you've ever seen. Right? I, know, I feel like you said gayer shit. You've definitely yeah. said gayer shit than that. Yeah, it's true. Hell, even that Pilates shit was gayer than that. <laughs> you think so? Uh, we're we really doing yeah, this Yeah, there now? we go. Okay. Yeah, see? Yeah. See, if it was made of metal, it wouldn't be able to go further than that. Yeah, but it's not supposed to, bro. The whole point is that it's just... <laughs> it's not supposed to go for up. A, there's no the pleasure person? in a dildo being in your intestine, you idiot. <laughs> Well, maybe there is for some people, but definitely not most. Yikes, fucking, dude. Uh, this yeah, is... rectum. Yeah, there's the colon. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, metal. Wait, Google metal, metal dildo. The See prostate is like here, bro. You don't need to be up in this shit. Okay? <laughs> That's what they're going for is around this area. That's a, yeah? Yep. How do you think gay dudes fuck, man? They're not all like fucking yeah. hung 24 inches. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> you must know from experience, man. Plus, like. To you obviously don't, mate. <laughs> Yeah, give me five. What? You're really asking for five? After that? It's kind of gay, mate. <laughs> Look, let's talk I about... I like the fist bump at the end. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's good. Can we talk about something that's actually important for a sec, guys? I'm no? S- uh... Oh, I mean, sorry. So, oh. yeah, sorry. <laughs> I smell <laughs> weed. My boy Chris Chan is still in prison. Oh. Wait, uh, he's, in, he's actually in prison now? He's been held without bond in an, a men's jail. He's not allowed to bond? Oh. That's all he's wanted his whole life. There was... Can there it, was... His mom can't, like, bail him out, right? No. <laughs> She can't remember. She keeps forgetting. <laughs> oh, stop! Uh, Dude, that was a, the whole men's jail thing. The really big controversy because when oh, yeah, cause w- cause, because originally she was booked in as you know because you know I, I believe w- w- Virginia was where she was booked. They had the laws there that you know you identify as a female, you go to a female prison, and a lot of fucking people like in the local community and even online like looked at that and they were like. Hmm. So this this person raped their mom, and you're gonna put them in a female prison, like in, Ooh, in, that allegedly. Is, that is fair. Allegedly, raped yeah. His mom. And so they were like, "Nah, we're just gonna put put this person in a male prison." Yeah. The whole that like weird tangent here. The whole prison and uh and sports thing for yeah. trans people. I just don't. I can't figure out a reasonable answer for it. I don't know. I I'm not for it, and I'm not against it. Like. I just don't fucking know where, like, trans w- women in sports, no fucking idea. Should they be in men's sports? They should, should have they their be? own category. Yeah, I think they should have their own category, yeah. to be honest, because, like, you know, they're, because c- on the one flip side is, like, you know, and it's also, like, you're a trans woman in what sense? Or do you just identify? Do you don't exactly. have any surgery? Do you identify? Do you take estrogen? Because if you take because, estrogen, you will be weaker. Precisely, mm-hmm. as God intended Anyways, <laughs> just kidding. You'll be weaker and dumber and make less money. Yes, and you'll also lie, heat, eat hot chip. <laughs> yeah. Be yeah. bisexual. And be bisexual as well. But, but <laughs> yeah, I think with trans women, like, the, having their own category is the easiest thing. Because when you have a, somebody who's like, I'm, I'm a female, but, you know, they're fucking ripped. It like, yeah. they're, they're going to excel at every other sport. Um, mm-hmm. And you know, on the flip side, it's like. Yeah, there was a trans woman from New Zealand in the Olympics, right? I think so. Yeah. And didn't she win everything? Probably. <laughs> Probably most likely. Yeah. But yeah, yeah that's, that's a big debate with co- competition. And yeah. then the whole prison thing is like, mm. The prison thing's so hard. Because you could, you could say like, well, do you have a vagina? Then you go to a women's prison. But then... Yeah, I would say, yeah, I would say it would be like if you're, 
if you're like actually transitioned with with surgery, yeah. then I think you should go to the prospective prison yeah, there. Yeah, that, that makes sense. You know, I don't think you know someone who's born biologically, you know, male. Uh, and then goes through a transition and gets the, the cosmetics. If you have and, a vagina, you don't belong in a men's prison. Yeah. That's kind, risky. Yeah. And if you have like, a penis, you probably shouldn't be in a woman's prison. No. Because women be like, hmm, kind of. And then men are going to be like, hmm. Yeah, exactly. Kinda. Yeah, so exactly like, what Swag I said. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's kind of, that's kind of like, look, those are things to consider. Here's something to consider. Fucking free my boy, Chris Chan. <laughs> I mean, my girl, Chris Chan. Um, I'm not, I'm still on this. Listen, like, isn't it crazy that she's been arrested for a nine minute Discord conversation? Where like, we, I, I, is there even a statement from the dementia ridden like, mother? To the police. Do we really like? Yeah, it's just, it's just fucking nuts, man. Like, well, she's it's a it's a class five a, felony well, in Virginia, carrying a sentence of no less than one year, but no more than ten years, plus oh. up to a twenty five hundred dollar fine. She's one year's like, not bad. She's yeah, just, but it could be like multiple she's years. She's just being held in jail until they have the court appearance, and then they go over the evidence, and then they decide whether or not they're guilty or innocent. I just, I just feel like why. Like, is it really necessary that she's held in a prison? Well, if she's if she's held in jail, yeah, then men's it's, prison. It's, it's got to be because there's either a risk of her, like trying to escape and run away from the state, or there's a risk of her being a, a hazard to someone else. I think they're always afraid that she's gonna fuck their mothers. Yeah, which right. is a hazard. To someone else. <laughs> oh wait, no, that's legal though. Never mind. It's perfectly legal. I take it back. Like, I I still like. There's a lot of outrage about Chris Chan. What are you looking at me like that for? What are you looking at that for? What is that? What are you even doing? This guy's a little goofball over here. That's yeah, a little goofball. I just feel like, uh, yeah, I want to know what the mother thinks. I want to know what the mother thinks too, dude. That's what it comes down to for me. Because if she's like, yeah, I was kind of okay with it. Like, I'm bored as fuck. Like, I got dementia. Ooh. Yeah. I'm keen for it. It made me feel good. Whatever. And then she goes, oh, what was I saying? <laughs> I just goes, wait, what was the question? Who are you? <laughs> Where am I? Like, Where's my son? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, if the mother isn't distraught about the situation at hand, then free Chris Chan. Like that's on a moral level how I feel. Well, there you go. Make sure you uh, you, you you write a comment. Why are you shutting down the conversation? No, I'm Why? not. I'm not. I just want to. I want to involve the the audience in the conversation. If if you agree with what Cam said, then say I agree wholeheartedly. Free my boy. Girl slash girl Christian yeah. in the comments. Free my boyfriendless girl Christian. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Swagger? What do I think? Uh, I think uh, they should be in prison. Why? Because uh, they <laughs> raped their dementia. Allegedly raped them. They allegedly mother. raped if, their if mother. If it truly we, was, we if it truly ones, was rape, we were the ones that added sure. the rape. Yeah. If it truly was never rape, said rape. And sure, like absolutely. I just feel like I just don't see that happening. You don't see why? I don't yeah, see it I being raped. Like, I feel like the mom was You don't just see it being raped. No. Romantic. I don't think that Chris Chan has like his mother tied up. No. And was like but, fucking her and like using look, her and shit. I think somebody, it was probably. If someone drinks to the point of unconsciousness, Cam, and then you have sex with them, that's rape. When did drinking right? come into the equation? Right. You would agree? Yes. If, so, if, somebody, if somebody is asleep and not conscious mm -hmm. and then you have sex with them and they don't wake up, they're heavy sleepers. You would agree that it's rape. Yeah. Right? Well, it's also rape if they do wake up. Still. If somebody, uh -huh. if somebody is severely mentally impaired, can't even remember what year it is or who the president is, well, do you know aren't that really aware of what their surroundings are, and then you have sex with them either by persuading or coercing them when they're not in their right, sober, actual, legitimate mind. Would you agree that's right? Depends on how lucid they are. Like yeah. dementia is a complicated disease. There are moments of lucidity in which she could have agreed to having sex with her. You know. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think Chris manipulated uh, her mother into thinking that Chris wasn't related to her anymore. Oh. Uh, proceeded to do the act. Uh, like well, they, this is interesting. Yeah, they like Chris slowly like like you know used. Uh, her mom's dementia to her advantage to make her forget that Chris was her child, basically. So, like, let's consider this. So it's not incest. <laughs> <laughs> to her, no. I'm just kidding. Let's consider this, okay? You're 80 years old. You got dementia. <laughs> yeah. You're not getting. You're not getting much action. <laughs> pussy's dry as fuck. You're not getting much action. Life sucks. Yeah. I'm gonna take that Chris Chan dick, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. <laughs>
<laughs> no, when you say it like that, it sounds pretty bad. Yeah. But I just, I want to root for Chris Chan because I feel so bad for her. I feel yeah, like her yeah. life has just been fucked up. They, they and I'm like, have a fucked up life. And now finally gets laid with a boyfriendless girl and fucking <laughs> goes to prison for it. It's like, it just seems unjust. And it just seems like the outrage over it and the disgust over it is a little OTT, in my opinion. Yeah, that sounds about over the top. Over the top. I'm trendy. Mm. Well, if you I'm agree. I'm just playing devil's advocate because <laughs> hey, it's the most fun. If yeah. you agree, if you agree, then write below in the comments, hashtag free Chris Chan. Yeah. Free my, my boyfriendless girl, Chris Chan. That's right. Yes. And I'm sorry for all the times I misgendered you, Chris Chan. That's Same. not because I don't care. It was just very confusing with the timeline. Yeah, it's just confusing. You know, your name's Chris Chan. And well, you're not even Christina. Asian. Christine. Christine Chan. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Chandler. It's Chris Chandler. Yeah. Um, Want to hear something else fun? Sure. <laughs> A Japanese man nearly dies of stroke. Possibly caused by masturbating several times daily. That is a stroke. That yeah. is a stroke. Oh, it is one hell of a stroke. Stroke of genius. Quoting a medical case study report, the Daily Mail reported that the 51-year-old suffered 51? a stroke last year, moments after ejaculating. Um, <laughs> it's been one hell of a night. Hey, it's, <laughs> not, it's not the worst time to have a stroke. The man was instantly struck down with agonizing thunderclap headaches after he climaxed and later began vomiting. Oh my goodness. Did you imagine beating off oh. as soon as you had done? You bust, you bust. And then she's like, <laughs> and fucking splitting headache. Oh. Fucking fall over, bash your head into the corner of your door. Half your of... face doesn't work. Dude was in the hospital for two weeks. And uh, Freeloading. While the doctors were treating him, he didn't offer an explanation <laughs> as to why he may have suffered the stroke. <laughs> uh, the NHS said brain bleeding could happen as a result of physical exertion, such as living something heavy or having sex. And really, he was tugging it. He was really beating the fuck out of this cock, huh? Good on him. Good yeah. on him. Yeah. Here's the stuff CNN doesn't like to tell you, but we got you guys. Yeah, that's a way to go out. <laughs> M and N. Yep. What does the N and N stand for? In News CNN? Network. Oh, so Misfits News Network. M N N. Eminem. 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 Welcome. It is the news segment. We just went through that very great early story, <laughs> bringing it out on a very lighthearted note. <laughs> I got something real cool as well. Yeah, yeah. what's the next headline? That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Argentine Health Ministry needs 10,000 wooden penises for educational purposes. Yeah, well, that's fair. Wait, uh, wait, they, they wait! Isn't, put condoms on. Isn't that a country? At least it's not steel. Uh, what? What? Argentine? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Argen uh, Argentina. Yeah, their health ministry, the Argentine health ministry. Uh, uh, they need ten thousand wooden cocks. <laughs> 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 it's just, let's, uh, is that let's how they phrased it? Yeah, let's learn about it. Uh, hey, we need why some... has it got to be wood? Like it can't be like because plastic? so they can refer to it as pegs. And they don't want people to oh. be using them unless they get splinters. These are for educational purposes only. I'm guessing that's used to... Uh, what, they don't have bananas uh, in Argentina? I think they have an abundance. Is that where <laughs> bananas come from? Like uh, Colombia? <laughs> no, like bananas are grown on plantations and big greenhouses uh, in, in e everywhere, really. But bananas are the most easily gene genetically modified fruit ever. Really? Yeah. And it's fucking all, pretty much all the bananas we eat are they like artificial. They're not artificial. Shit. Selective breeding. Yeah. Genetic modification. So they can like modify it to have like a fucking veins and shit. Like whatever yeah. they need. They typically uh, modify, uh, modify them to be yeah. big Mitchell, and pull succulent. up a picture of a, um, of like a natural banana with all the fucking seeds in it. It's fucking crazy. Like, like the natural bananas are very, very like short and plump. Yeah. And when you open it up, it has a fuck ton of black seeds all inside of it. Yeah. Oh, what? So that's like a natural mm -hmm. banana. Mm -hmm. Like this would be like monkeys you know, ate those. Well, yeah. And and over like the last couple of hundred years, I think maybe even more, uh, through selective breeding, we have created uh, these new seedless bananas and boneless boneless bananas, <laughs> which are uh, which which are which are beautiful and tasty and yummy, and they're the kind of great treats. Uh, the pair well with the tarantula imagine climbing to a, in the bunch. I can't imagine yeah. trying to put a condom on that other one. Oh, yeah. but it's like ribbed though. Look at when you yeah, feel it, it's, it's like ribbed. It is ribbed. It is ribbed for monkey's pleasure. Oh, for monkey's pleasure? For monkey's what, pleasure. What do monkeys do for pleasure, man? Oh, fuck. They, yeah. <laughs> they and, jack and off. And throw shit. shit. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> jinx, double jinx, like. I, I've been around a few monkeys in my time and they'd love throwing things at people. 
Mm. When I was in Costa Rica, they would like, you actually had to be careful because they would throw coconuts at you and they could kill you. Would they like steal your <laughs> Wait, shit? Are you serious? Yeah, they would, they would like get fruit and they were like mischievous little devils and they will literally pelt it at you wow. just for their own enjoyment. And they also... I, and they, they steal shit too yeah, all the time. Yeah, I was about to say, there's so many yeah. like clips of people just having their handbags stolen by monkeys. Yeah. I feel like I've ever went there and I would have to go with a gun. Yeah, but that's because you're American. The American tourist yeah, solution to everything. But imagine, like, I'm not going to go to that understand gun. the concept of the gun. Oh, He's well, going to steal it, the gun it, and probably kill himself. <laughs> gun. <laughs> fucking hates Costa Rica. I love, to get dude, out. imagine, imagine, <laughs> imagine, like, the ultimate test. You give a chimp a firearm, loaded firearm, and then you put it in a room. You see what it does. What kind of test is that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is, that's not. But why is that the ultimate test? I feel like there are <laughs> much more ultimate tests than. It's, it's le less of a test and more of just a like. An experiment? An experiment. Yeah, I guess like, the, the test is. Human to, enjoyment. The test is to see whether or not it uh, fucking, fucking shoots. shoots itself. Well, it could shoot a wall. What do they do if the it's monkey a, grabs a, the gun? It's, it's like they're trying to end the test and he's like in a standoff. It's, it's the first thing the monkey the, does is shoot the camera in the corner. And the next thing it does is wait with the gun pointed at the door for the fucking scientist to open it. Yeah, dude. It's Planet like, of the Apes shit. That's good. You guys see that movie? Uh, no. The old really? one? The new one. I've seen the... Oh, yeah. The new ones are kind of scary, bro. Like, if you just imagine the concept of a bunch of fucking gorillas, <laughs> like, yeah. taking over a city, it could happen. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I hope it happens. I, I do too. too. Yeah. I, I would be on their side. I would happily submit to my monkey overlords. Yeah, you'd be submissive and breedable. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Where did that meme start? Submissive and breedable. No idea. Where, from, where did from, that come from? In the from the depths of hell. <laughs> the fucking seven. It sounds circle. like something that would come from TikTok. Fucking sulfuric acid pit. <laughs> I'm feeling super. <laughs> Okay. Like New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Rotorua. <laughs> Damn. Nice reference. Yeah. Banger reference. You're really going for like these little hand things here. Okay. <laughs> well, it was the second bit. Would you fist bump Hitler if he offered it? Yeah. No, you yeah. give him a high five. And, <laughs> yeah. <fun>. Hey. <laughs> a high five. High five. Um. Yeah, I'd probably fist bump Hitler. Just you know, just say I did. Fist Imagine bump like the cock. Okay, picture this as a scenario. It's three in the morning. You're about to go to bed. It's raining outside. Stormy. Mm. Fucking really windy too. The trees are blowing. Right. Your doorbell rings, mm -hmm. and you open the door, and, and who's yeah. who... <laughs> Spagosaurus? Please let me in, man! Come on! <laughs> right, knock in, and then you open your door, and who's there? But Hitler, just drenched in water, mustache flopping, hair down on his forehead, and he says, "Please come in. I can explain I, everything." I'd say, "Oh my God, my Fuhrer! <laughs> Please let me make you a meal." Yeah. Yeah, then uh, then, yeah. I'll, then, I'll, then, so, I'll, then I'll then I'll sit down with him and be like, "Hey, so why did you do it?" Like you're and in then, the kitchen, you're cooking up something, and he's there, just drying off. He's like, "Man, that shit was crazy. Everyone hates me now, man." <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're like, "Yeah, so what's your deal anyway? Like, how'd that whole shit start? Like, would you would you talk it out with him?" Yeah. Like, what if he was just like super reasonable guy? <laughs> like, well, that's the thing. <laughs> like, really... dude, I was just I thought it was right. <laughs> Like, no one told me I was wrong. I was doing so much meth too. Oh my god! Like I, it was a crazy I, time, man. You know, I'd, I'd hear him out, and you know, then you know, I, when it when it comes around, I probably, I probably like, I don't know, I'd, I'd take a picture probably to prove that Hitler. I think the first was alive and in my house, I everyone's think, gonna look at the photo. Like, That's not fucking Hitler. <laughs> I, I'd just be like, look, mate. Everyone thinks you're dead. Let's shave your mustache. You know, maybe give yeah. you a little hair tr haircut, maybe a beanie. You can no, stay with me. we would do the thing from that fucking one movie where it's like Hitler comes back, yeah, yeah, and like and he legitimately like comes hipster. back. And he, no, no, not a hipster. He, uh, he's Hitler, but everyone in so oh, everyone, the, thinks, the, he's the, everyone yeah. thinks he's an actor, and like you know, oh, yeah. it's like that kind Hitler. of, and he's just playing Hitler, and uh, and then it's like he rises through the ranks and gets like super popular because it's so funny. But I would do yeah, that, he's good and, at then, that and then he? I would make money off of him. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that would, that would show him. I yeah. feel that'd be super cool to. Then I sign him on a contract to like <laughs> Jewish <laughs> Jewish owned station. <laughs> and then every Friday he has to turn the lights on for him. Yep. <laughs> I was gonna ask you when he comes in. He's like, you haven't been hanging out with any Jews recently. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Guys, Hitler is bad. Hitler okay? bad. Allegedly. Hitler. <laughs> Is allegedly bad, depending on who you ask. It was. 
allegedly bad. Was allegedly bad. Why do you think he didn't deserve to get in jail or kill himself? Oh, I think he deserved uh, it. I don't think anyone deserves to kill themselves. <laughs> I know. That's how I feel. That was beautiful. I feel like he was in a dark place at the time. Going through a mm, lot, yeah. processing drug addiction, some stuff, drug addiction, mm. power, ego, fame, you know, the whole, the whole nine yards. And I think that he was just in a difficult situation. Yeah. And like, once you start killing like a lot of Jews, like it's really hard to stop. Like, if I was as famous as him, I'd probably commit a couple of genocides. Yeah. yeah. Like if you can see what happens, fuck, yeah. it, fuck around a bit. Just see if you have that kind of power. Maybe he was just limit testing. It's like who's? It's like okay, this is terrible. But I want to see who's the first one that's going to stop me and say no. I'm so bad. I love, I love killing all these Jews. Where am I crossing the line? I don't know. <laughs> is this too much? You gotta tell me. I don't know. My advisors, they say it's okay. They say it's fine. I, I, it's crazy. I do anyway. Is the chamber too big? No, you. It's fine. Do you like it? Oh, I don't know. Man. I make summer camps. It's beautiful. I just feel like that'd be great if Hitler just. Shows up on your doorstep on a windy night and explains he's everything. Begging for mercy. And like, I would, I he's would so certainly... reasonable and nice that you're like, yeah, I get it, man. Like, I would have done yeah. the same thing probably. It's oh. fucking crazy. Yeah. 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 I don't know. That was That's a... how I feel anyway. Wow. Hitler. What a guy. Yep. I did not Hitler. <laughs> I did not. I did not. <laughs> Dude. I did not. <laughs> All right. Dude. I was just saying, dude, didn't have anything to add there. Mm. Uh, I mean, I feel like this This feels like a, you know, a Hitler conversation feels like a good time to, you know, just roll it out. You know? <laughs> everyone, Bro, everyone end the podcast, you mean? Ending on a, on a Hitler note. Yeah, everyone loves Hitler. And everyone and It's my Chris. favorite sitcom. Yeah. <laughs> everyone loves Hitler? <laughs> yep. Fucking Ray Romano fucking walks <laughs> in his fucking live track. Hitler? What are you doing here? I don't know if that's Ray Romano. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I can barely remember Ray Romano, and yet I'm still astoundedly confident that that's how they got like him. Maybe that was more of his brother. The fucking, like, uh, what, it was Ray and. Who was the oh, fucking. Oh, the fucking the the, cop brother. Yeah, the cop brother. Like, the, Hitler. Or you know, some you shit sound like, that. like, hey, Hitler. The, Everybody yeah. loves Hitler. Yeah, precisely. <laughs> yeah, well, let's roll it out then. Roll it out. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a nice rug, you know? <laughs> that was a nice podcast about Speaking our... Speaking of roll it out, I just want to say, sorry about the podcast being late to, uh, last week, the last episode. It was late. I, the only reason why I know it was late was because of all the people coming into my stream and saying, where the fuck is the podcast? Yeah, Great way to get I, viewers. I, I Can found, we make it late every I, week? I found <laughs> out because some dude knocked on my door. Yeah. Dressed oh, as Hitler, Hitler oh, and, and and said, "Hey, where is podcast? Where is podcast? <laughs> where is the podcast? <laughs> it's my favorite show." <laughs> Mine. For... <laughs> yeah, Hitler's yeah. got nothing to do in Argentina except listen to this shit. Yeah, yeah. Bananas. I thought he was in Antarctica. No, no. Well, I mm, thought he built an underground Nazi base. No, he's in Argentina playing with his ten thousand wooden cocks. <laughs> 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 he was the one who ordered them. <laughs> I called this one Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> this one's super big. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh wow, well, well, yeah, love a good, a good bit of Hitler. Thank you for, uh, are we <laughs> yeah, we're in it. Thanks for listening. Thank Thanks for, for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed our tales of mountains, cocks, balls, Chris Chan raping his mother, and Hitler. allegedly, it's another episode of the Misfits podcast. You could see it from a mile away, and we are the Misfits, and we'll see you in a week's time. Bye, bye, bye. goodbye.